Hello, my name is Marielle. Welcome back to another one of my movie reviews. A quick vote of hands. Who else was so freaked out by the Hereditary trailer that they didn't see it in theaters? I regret that decision. Hereditary is a very different film on the second watch, so let's discuss this horror masterpiece. Hereditary is a 2019 film. While a family is trying to recover from a difficult loss, terrifying secrets arise, putting the family against each other. Hereditary is a startling film. It's a tough film to watch based on its realistic and overwhelming emotional presentation. As described by the director, Hereditary is more of a family drama than a horror film. Researching important key elements, Hereditary deserves a second watch because it's very easy to miss these clues. This film would not be what it is without its unforgettable performances by Tony Collette, Gabriel Byrne, Millie Shapiro, and Alex Wolf. This is where I became a fan of Tony Collette. As the mother of the Grams, Annie has a long history of strained relationships with her family. Collette was snubbed of a Best Actress nominee. She presented two brilliant monologues. Gabriel Byrne deserves more recognition for his role as Steve Graham, the calm father who's only trying to look at situations in the most realistic way possible. His performance was really heartwarming, especially the way he cared for his family, but mostly his children. I was utterly surprised when I found out that this was Millie Shapiro's first film. Charlie has a strange demeanor. Immediately, you can tell that there is something not right about her. Shapiro was incredible in the role. As for Alex Wolf as Peter, he does a phenomenal job, emoting and saying so much through his eyes. There's been quite a lot of feedback from Wolf claiming that Hereditary was a very difficult movie for him, attending therapy once filming ended. Hereditary was Ari Aster's directorial debut. I applaud him for his stunning camera techniques, spine-tingling story, and strong character development. Another aspect Hereditary does well on is subtlety. See. Don't. Tell. Don't even explain. Hereditary is the best film to discuss. The horror of Hereditary is all about emotional scars. Aster chose emotional scares over the traditional jump scares. We all respond to horror in different ways, like loss. Loss is presented in a genuine and painful telling. Nowadays, horror movies are all about jump scares and not much else. Hereditary has a story, though a very different story. I am still trying to figure out if the subplot involving the cursed ritual worked, or if it was completely wacky. Then again, maybe it didn't happen. There are theories stating that maybe the last half hour of the film was all in one of the Grams' minds. Annie did mention a history of mental illness. What are your thoughts on this scenario of the film? Did you like it? Although the ending of the film left me skeptical, I was not disappointed. Hereditary is its own masterpiece. I was very surprised that this film was not even nominated for its spellbinding soundtrack, acting, or even its beautiful cinematography. Or director, Ari Aster did an exemplary job. Hereditary is not recommended for all audiences, though it is still a film that you need to see. I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. When you do see it, be prepared to lift your jaw off the floor. What was your reaction when you first watched this film? I am so excited for Halloween week. I have two final films to talk about. One of them was spoiled in my triangle review, but get ready for The Cabin in the Woods. 
like, comment, subscribe to my channel or to my Patreon. My name is Marielle, and this has been another one of my movie reviews.